Where was the battle between good and evil won? Today we're looking at Mark 14, verse 32 to 42. Then they came to a place which was named Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. And he took Peter, James, and John with him, and he began to be troubled and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful even to death. Stay here and watch. He went a little farther and fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what you will. Then he came and found them sleeping and said to Peter, Simon, are you sleeping? Could you not watch one hour? Watch and pray lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away and prayed and spoke the same words. And when he returned, he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy, and they did not know what to answer him. Then he came the third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? It is enough. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. The battle between good and evil was won in the Garden of Gethsemane. That's where it was. The weight of the sins of the world was upon Jesus. It was, it was crushing him. Notice what it said in the text. He was exceedingly troubled. He was deeply distressed. This isn't the way we... Where in the Bible do you see Jesus behaving this way? This is very, very unusual. That's because the weight of all the sins of the world was upon him there in the Garden of Gethsemane. That is where the full brunt of it came, came upon him. The battle was enormous. The battle was enormous. The, the very cup of salvation trembled in Jesus' hand. His humanity even led him to want to retire from the battle. But he prayed, Lord, Lord, but not my will, your will be done. And that was really the decisive piece. That is it right there. Jesus, Jesus' will and God's will weren't, weren't together at this point. It seems like it's in, it really is an amazing point in the Bible. But, and yet it was because Jesus said, nevertheless, not what I will, but what you will. He submitted and surrendered completely, all, all trust to his Father. And so that's where the battle was truly won, was right there when Jesus decided to, to go through, to process, to go all the way to the cross. It would have, it happened right here in the Garden of Gethsemane, the wine press. It's verse 36. That's, that's where he says, not my will, but your will. And you know, he wanted the fellowship of his disciples, especially his closest three. He wanted them with him in this time of suffering. But each time he came uh, to them, they were, they were sleeping. This was an extraordinary missed opportunity to, to strengthen and support Jesus in this time, this ultimate time of decision. But as the Bible said, as the prophet said, there would be none to help. And Jesus was not helped by his disciples at this time. But he wanted to strengthen them. He wanted them to have the benefit of participating in this experience with him, but they just didn't. They had a giant missed opportunity. I wonder how many powerful spiritual opportunities you and I are missing. Just think how the disciples could have encouraged and cheered Jesus in this, in this time of supreme battle, but no. And you know what the devils must have been whispering to Jesus as he struggled there spiritually in the garden? The devils must have been whispering in his ear, when you get up, when you go back and check on them, you're going to find they're sleeping. They don't even care. They're sleeping. The devils must have said, don't throw yourself away for the likes of them. But the love of Jesus won out, and because of him, we have the opportunity for eternal life. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for a Savior who's willing to die for us in Gethsemane this way. Totally unsupported. Totally left to hang out and dry, and yet he still dies for us. Lord, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for this love. Put this kind of love into our hearts, Lord, so that our prayers will be of help to others. Please, Lord, thank you for hearing our prayer. Strengthen us to serve you, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, more in prayer, brothers and sisters, and less missed opportunities. God be with you today.